This video will cover the topic, finding all possible rational zeros using the rational zeros theorem, problem type 1. The rational zeros theorem can be stated as follows. Let g of x be a polynomial with integer coefficients and a sub n is not equal to 0. If g of x has a rational 0, then the 0 can be written as p divided by q. p is a factor of a sub 0 and q is a factor of a sub n. In other words, the only possibilities for rational zeros of g of x are numbers of the form p divided by q, where p is a factor of the constant term and q is a factor of the leading coefficient. This all sounds kind of confusing. How do we relate it to the types of problems we'll be given? Let's say we're given the polynomial g of x equals negative 3x to the fourth minus 4x cubed plus 8x squared minus 9x plus 2. And we're told to list all possible rational zeros using the rational zeros theorem. To do this, we'll first need to identify a sub 0 and a sub n. a sub n is the leading coefficient, so a sub n equals negative 3. a sub 0 is the constant term, so a sub 0 equals 2. Using the rational zeros theorem, we know that the only possibilities for rational zeros of g of x are numbers of the form p divided by q, where p is a factor of a sub 0 and q is a factor of a sub n. Since we identified a sub 0 as 2 and we identified a sub n as negative 3, any rational zero of g of x must have the form a factor of 2 divided by a factor of negative 3. We need to find all the factors of 2 and negative 3, right? That's right. The possible values of p are factors of 2, which are positive or negative 1 and positive or negative 2. The possible values of q are factors of negative 3, which are positive or negative 1 and positive or negative 3. From here, we'll divide each factor of 2 by each factor of negative 3 to get all the possible values of p divided by q, which are positive or negative 1 over 1, positive or negative 2 over 1, positive or negative 1 third, and positive or negative 2 thirds. From here, we can simplify 1 over 1 to 1, and we can simplify 2 over 1 to 2. So our final list of possible rational zeros for the polynomial g of x is positive or negative 1, positive or negative 2, positive or negative 1 third, and positive or negative 2 thirds. Why don't we try another example? Given the polynomial f of x equals negative x cubed minus 9x squared minus 4x minus 8, we want to find all possible rational zeros of the function using the rational zeros theorem. Okay, so I remember that any rational zero of f of x must have the following form. a sub n is the leading coefficient, so a sub n equals negative 1. a sub 0 is the constant term, so a sub 0 equals negative 8. This means any rational zero will be a factor of negative 8 over a factor of negative 1. The factors of negative 8 are positive or negative 1, positive or negative 2, positive or negative 4, and positive or negative 8. And the factors of negative 1 are positive or negative 1. So the possibilities for p over q are positive or negative 1 over 1, positive or negative 2 over 1, positive or negative 4 over 1, and positive or negative 8 over 1. We can simplify these fractions, so our final list of possible rational zeros for the polynomial f of x includes positive or negative 1, positive or negative 2, positive or negative 4, and positive or negative 8. That's right. So any of these rational numbers have the potential to be zeros for our given polynomial. Okay. So when finding all possible rational zeros of a polynomial using the rational zeros theorem, the only possibilities for rational zeros of the polynomial are numbers of the form p divided by q, 
where p is a factor of the constant term and q is a factor of the leading coefficient. Exactly. Great work.